Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're playing Beach Buggy Racing. Yes, another kart racer game from the people who developed and released Riptide GP2, which we've previously looked at here on the channel. This is a kart racer in the same vein as Mario Kart, uh, Sonic, and All Stars Transformed, Little Big Racing Kart. Little Big Planet Kart Racing? Is that what that one was called? Yeah, so even, well, specifically Little Big Planet has a very, very influenced design in this. All the characters' heads and faces kind of have that same sack boy look that they're all kind of like bits and pieces just divided onto um, a body. The cars themselves look pretty nice. The levels look bright and cheerful. This is uh, this is um, an old school kart racer like, in the veins of uh, BC racers or uh, Drift Kings or whatever those really old ones I remember from the Mega Drive era. It, it, it feels arcadey and comfortable to play. The music is... Um, Surf guitar, fantastic. There's a there's a lot of really cheery, upbeat kind of like gameplay in this. It it, it feels like it feels exactly how I imagine an old school kart racer should be. Probably back whenever we were doing things like Diddy Kong racing, but nobody really got that clone technique down. Whenever I say clone technique, that is part and parcel what this is. It feels like everything that's been done before in a kart racer, and then just thrown into a budget title. I'm not massively disappointed with that. I mean, Crash Team Racing did a really good job with that. Uh, the Mario Kart series is still maintained to this day. Uh, I personally enjoy the Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. It's, um, it's a pretty good racer and a fun game to play, especially with all the characters you see popping into it. This game suffers because the lack of license, I suppose, because we don't have uh, characters to hang our hook off of, people that we recognize. But the style and design kind of does that for us. I mean, each of the individual cars look cool. Each of the racers themselves look cool. The after effects from the weapons, to be honest, kind of feel a bit more on the generic side. Just like very small pops and explosions. Nothing really kind of like big and grandiose. We're, we're not exactly having lightning storms and everybody turning tiny at any point in this, or I haven't seen it anyway. The um, buildings and the levels and tracks suffer from this uh, beach buggy thematic nature. I mean, I'm, I haven't seen all the race levels in this, but all the ones I have seen do feel quite restricted to this uh, small town with uh, coastal tracks and rickety roads and forestry. So it is an island racer. If this is all taking place on the one island, rather than actually being like an international circuit thing, I could find that the levels could get a little bit samey. Uh, especially if you're going to put it in a location like that and you're not going to allow people to have that capability to even mix and match the tracks together. I feel like the game's trying to compensate for this in a little bit with its uh, customization because all the vehicles are upgradable with in-game currency you get from repeating these tracks over and over again. So it takes the, the dullness slightly away. The, if you notice, the customization wheels in this are identical to the ones from Riptide GP2, which means they used the same UI and then applied it to this game. I, I can't be disappointed in this because I actually did like this color wheel system whenever I was working with Riptide. It works reasonably well, although it does mark it as being made <laughs> with the fact of like reusing assets in mind probably for the, the layout of it but what can you do there are challenge matches in this game there is uh one-on-one -on -one races where you go to unlock characters the first one being leilani who's been running you through the tutorial now i noticed the difficulty level spike quite heavily whenever i went to this one-on-one -on -one race because you may notice that i get my absolute ass beat to me in this lap also the fact that she cheats Look at that, just launch yourself ahead. But the uh, enemy attacks that are specific to the kart racers are probably best dis best displayed by these one-on-one -on -one races. It'll also show you how you make use of them yourself whenever you're fighting, playing as them after you've beaten them. In the case of the default races that you have, you just have um, a rocket boost, uh, a, like an overpowered engine for a short period of time, which allows you to boost ahead of enemies. In the case of Lani, you saw there, it is her well, flower trail that will slow down people who run through it and actually give her the chance to run further ahead which is a great tool if you actually find yourself in first place and wanting to just stay ahead the entire time there is out of bounds as you can see in the race tracks which um, left me in a situation where I'm just falling farther and farther behind now uh, unlike uh, most races where you actually go out of bounds and it holds you there and force you to come back you can uh, reset yourself to the track as soon as you go out 
of bounds to make sure they try and save as much time as possible and don't take as heavy of a penalty because trying to return to the track after you've come off of it in this game is a pain. Uh, you lose all speed whenever you're not really running on the good clear central ground. As you can see, I'm not gaining any ground whenever I take those little side routes to try and dodge her attacks. As I was having difficulty with that particular race, I thought, right, I'll take a look to see what other ways I can upgrade my car. I found that there's also unlockable vehicles in this game, completely different vehicle types, uh, very similar to how Mario Kart does with their motorcycles, their go-karts. Each of them having a very specific kind of handling setup, uh, acceleration, top speed, handling, boost, are all kind of like individualized for each of these vehicles. And whenever they are upgraded individually, they will actually upgrade in different ways. There's also a number of weapons that I didn't see whenever I was playing through the first couple of races that are completely usable and probably would have made that fight a little bit easier. The last thing to take a look at is actually the multiple unlockable characters you have, each one probably from completing uh, circuits of the game, the Lilani being the first one that you can unlock. They all have unique skills that are not related to the vehicles and are very useful in each battle. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This has been another episode of First 15 on Pastiche of Skin. This has been Beach Buggy Racing, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope to see you all in the next video, so remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all the other things. And I will see you then. Bye-bye!